What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Lean and Mean Academy, where we talk about one truck, big profits, baby. All right, welcome back to another video. Now, look, this video is going to be a little controversial. And so some of the old heads, some of the old crusties, go ahead and just take a dump in the comments because y'all know I don't care. All right, this video is titled The Worst Way to market your pressure washing business. But before we jump into that, if you're looking to launch your business into 2022 on the right foot, you're looking to learn the chemicals, the processes, what to do, what not to do, how to do it the right way, I urge you to get the How to Wash course. Cody Yarbrough, Mike Vidan, Justin Rogers, and myself, the core four got together and did this course upright. Something serious. I think it's over 60 videos or something like that. It's a lot of videos, it's a lot of content. And if you're looking to compress your time frame and start your pressure washing business, I urge you to click the first link in the description, first link in the comments, it'll be down there, jump in. All right, so let's start it off. What is the worst way to market your pressure washing business, okay? And like I said earlier, I don't do a whole lot of caveats because I really don't care. If you don't like me, you don't dis and you disagree with me, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'd love to hear it, I'd love to hear it. Um. I need to caveat this though, because I need to say that all marketing works done well. All marketing works when it's done well and in the right amount of volume with the right investment behind it. Now, what do we talk about in the local domination course, guys? We talked about the first steps, the first things we need to do. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. and. A lot of guys get this in reverse. And I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here. If you haven't taken the course, a lot of guys start with flyers. And this is the worst move that you can do. This is the worst move because flyers, <laughs> I mean, most people don't even get good flyers made. Okay. Um, and I'm not saying that they have to be sterile um, or that they're just like, you know, um, they just kind of look like everything else. I'm not saying that. Though, you do get a lot of Domino's pizza flyers that look like that. You get a lot of uh, oil change flyers that look like that. You get a lot of however many other coupon flyers that you get in your mailbox every single week. Just like that. Um, I'm just saying that a lot of guys can't afford to do flyers the way they need to be done to give a proper ROI. And that's why I say it's the worst way to market your pressure washing business is because flyers, simply put, are the one thing that people don't do right. If they're willing to get a good site done, right? They got a pro site. Say they got Footbridge doing their site through the lean and mean deal, of course. What else would you do? Or they're running Justin's Facebook ad strategy and they're scoring deals off of Facebook, right? They've, they're figuring that out. Those are things that, A, the first one's on autopilot because the web team helps out with that, but that's also long game. Facebook ad strategy is something that you have to learn and figure out and dial it in, but it's something that can be done from your phone or from your computer. Flyers for most new guys require a massive sweat investment. Sweat equity gets poured into the deal. Because you're out passing them out, driving around. And now gas is, sheesh, some of y'all, $4.99 a gallon, $5 here. I don't know where y'all out in the West Coast. And so driving around, walking around, passing out these flyers that aren't even well done. Flyers in general, you can hope for about a 1% RO, 1% response rate. I'm not going to say 1% ROI. That's the wrong thing. 1% response rate in its best day. Most people grab the flyer out of the mailbox or whatever, and they throw it away. That's what I do. Most people are me. So I say, and I made sure I caveated it at the beginning that all marketing does work. But for the new guy, I don't believe that this is the best way he should market his business because to do flyers, right? Let me tell you how the, you need to do flyers, right? You need to be doing she 10,000 flyers a week and those need to be going every door direct mail 
and you need to be hammering the same zones over and over and over and over to where the same people are getting your flyer five, six, seven times. They're sick of seeing you. That's how flyers need to be done. But when you're brand new, see, it's like a cute little crab trap, though. You the crab, and you see it. Oh, look, there's some chicken over there. And then you crawl in, and you get 1,000, 2,000 flyers, and you've dumped $700. Do you know what we could do with $700 on a properly run Facebook ad? Like, guys, it and, and we didn't have to walk around and sweat and do the whole deal and act like we liked it because we need we need to work out and stuff. We're rationalizing the movement. I get it. Um, the investment goes so much farther when you master digital first. Look, go to your friends and family right off the bat. Go to your church family. Go to the, the people you work for, work with, whatever. But flyers in the beginning are a trap. They're a trap. Flyers should be something that after your site is done and cranking, after you're cranking on Facebook, okay, and you're doing everything that Justin tells you to do, you're dialed it in, okay, flyers are like the fourth, fifth thing. And you know what we do when we do flyers? We do thousands upon thousands, thousands a day. That's how you hit flyers, and that's how you do it right. So flyers are the worst way to market your pressure washing business because simply they are just done wrong. They're done wrong. Everybody does them wrong, except for the big companies. The big companies do it right, and you notice because they keep hitting you with that Domino's pizza flyer, and eventually maybe you don't even use the coupon, but you go buy some Domino's pizza because they hit you so many times. They stay top of mind on you. That's how you do flyers. But guess what? A new guy can't afford that. He can't afford to do flyers at that rate. A new guy has to figure out the digital game first. He has to get a good website done and quit being scared. You go to Footbridge, you get your site done. Pay for it. Invest in your business. You figure out Justin's Facebook ad strategy. Invest your time. Learn it. Dial it in. If you're not in the inner circle, we discuss that constantly in there. Okay? It's constant. That's what we're doing. And guys are getting massive ROI. Flyers are down the line. But it's funny because in the business, everyone thinks flyers are like right out the gate. And I guess that's just because that's that old like little kid, you know, going down the street, passing out little flyers, you know, and saying, hey, I cut lawns. And he, everybody thinks he's cute. So they, they let him cut their lawn and he doesn't show up after senior year goes to college. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. I, I, I'm trying to figure out where that new guy and flyers come in because flyers aren't inherently cheap if they're well done. And you got to walk or drive to pass them out unless you can afford every door direct mail. But if you can afford every door direct mail, well, then a thousand flyers is not going to be enough. You need to multiply that by 10 at least. To really do it, do every door direct mail the right way. So that's this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. A little controversial. Look, some of y'all ain't gonna be able to take it. I know. Comment below. Go on and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well in 2022 in your business. I hope you're gonna make this spring and just dominate it, baby. It's game time. All right. And don't get stuck if you're brand new. Don't be like a little bug. That's what it is. It's a bug to the blue light. The flyers are the blue light. The new guy is the bug. That's what it is. I can't help it. It's so beautiful. Yeah. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your money. Master the digital in first. Master Google My Business first. Then when we do flyers, baby, we bring the heat. We bring the big money. We spend big money on flyers and we hammer them until they submit or give us a call for brush washing services. Have a good day, guys.